All right, welcome back to an Ohio University production here in the eSports Lounge. I am Croco. I'm Alex. And I think we're already into game one here, so let's get that up. Yes, we are. We got Apparition versus Akmafuna. All right, this is uh, Zant's. Uh, oh, it's Zant's. My bad. This is OU's number one PR. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, there's, a, there's a whole thing about how Zach isn't very good in other regions, but he's always really great here in Athens. So we'll see how he does in bracket today. He's off to the lead right now, and as I say that, Apparition taking back pretty much even percents here, 87 to 90%. A lot of moves being thrown up, but they're getting rolled in spot dodge. Edge trap situation right now. Big forward air from Zance to restart the edge trap. And, ooh, big shield pressure. That shield getting low. Whoa. Down smash, though, will take the first stock. He was out of a lot of options there. He couldn't really hold shield there. No, if you hold shield there, you're probably getting shield poked from how low it was previously. Right now, though, Apparition trying to catch the landing. Not going to get it with that fair. <laughs> it's a Nair war. <laughs> It really is. The the battle of the two spinning nares. Not gonna kill. No, not quite yet. Next one might, though. Gotta avoid taking too much more damage this percent. Side B gonna get shielded, though, by Zance. Ooh, reads the roll. Not gonna get much off of it, though. Yeah, just a nair, just to get a little tickle in. Ooh, fourth throw almost connecting into that side B. Oh... Okay, doesn't get punished for the re-grab. Oh, almost got the kill there. Yeah, that was a that was a big opportunity to get a lot of damage in. That by lift up is really good for combo starters, especially when you're above 60%, so it doesn't spike yet. However, unable to follow up on much more than just a single aerial. Catches in with the back air. Forward air to get off of ledge. Well, I thought I thought that down B was gonna do it. Full rage by lift down B. Yeah, this, this side B has a surprising amount of range. It covers the entire platform, but Apparition gonna catch him with the Explosive Flame. A great catch, however, the damage has already been done. 105% on this stock. Not gonna get down tilt up air, though. Okay, you're coming back now with a down air into F tilt. <laughs> Teleports the stage. Very risky, but worked out until you had to approach, and then you got hit by back air. Yeah, Zach, Zach's gonna punish you every time he can for that. Pretty side recovery. Yeah, tough spot after the side B caught the up B. Fortunately, Byleth is able to go low enough where she can get back. Alright. Both players just going back to neutral now. Side B from Palutena to send up. That was a huge read. Huge read, gets the kill, and now we're even. I was playing Apparition earlier in bracket. He loves looking for those air dodges. He, he gets so much off of them. I mean, it's brought him back into this game. He was down 100% on a, his second stock, and now all of a sudden we're even as the Nair chain starts. Count it, Nair, Nair, up air, up air, four hits. Catches the landing with a dash attack. The Palatina special. Nair dash attack, just to send Polo off stage. There's another Nair dash attack. Damage racking up. Oh, miss grab. He's in got a fun. disadvantage, but we'll see if he can rekindle. Low back air. Huge Not gonna reversal. kill yet. Yeah. That I think that's gonna be. It? Oh. No. That nah, we'll do it. Very close game. Yeah, great game one out of Zance. Apparition was bringing it back, and Zance was able to halt the momentum that uh, Apparition was getting and secure the win. It was really scary there, because he was getting constantly ledge trapped, and I, <laughs> he had to find a reversal quick. Yeah, now we're going into bans. I can't read lifts, so I don't know what they banned. Well, knowing ultimate players, we could very well be going back to PS2. Oh, it looks like Town and City 
Town and City for game two. Goss, honestly, gives the Palatine a lot more space to do the nair chains and the up air chains. So not surprised to see this pick coming out of Palutena. Uh However, it does give Byleth more space to do nair chains of their own. Yeah. Let's see how they start with this far apart. I was gonna, I was gonna say Zance is gonna start up a neutral B because of how far apart they were, and sure enough, <laughs> it covers the whole stage. So, so no risk at the beginning, but he's gonna find himself quick and disadvantage. But yeah, both players fighting in this corner of the stage. Zance has center stage though now. Ooh, great teleportation by Apparition to get into center stage, avoid the ledge trap continuation. During this transformation, you know, you got nowhere to land. You got to land on a Palutena up air. It's a, it's a very big FD. <laughs> Both players back to feeling each other out. Ooh, he went for a down smash there. I saw it start charging. He was definitely looking for another panic option, but not going to get it. Sex holding it firm. Another benefit I think about the stage of Palutena is the uh, projectile usage. Since the stage is so big, you know, your neutral B, your side B, you have a lot more space to safely throw it out. One thing I find interesting about Town City is the the ceiling's really high, but the, like, horizontal blast zones are very short. Oh yeah, I was playing on this earlier and I died to, I think, a Mewtwo Fair at 80 off the side. So, very small sides on Town City. However, both these characters like to kill upwards. This dash attack at 110 will still make Apparition live. Now we're back to the Nair Trains. Oh, unsafe yeah, yeah, nice side B. Up. Gets punished by the roll from ledge. Bring this back to two stocks apiece. This input not gonna matter. Great parry on the aerial, but down throw back air brings Apparition back to the lead and is continuing with more down tilt to read the roll from ledge. Sansa's doing a really good job recovering. Uh, Apparition got the, the air dodge read, but not going to get anything off of it. Ooh. Yeah, missed time to counter there. Going to eat a nice dash attack for it. Back air to reroll from ledge. Ooh. Thought Apparition was going to go to stage and charge a nice up smash. Not. I like the idea. However, Apparition played it smart and just went to ledge. Back air to set up another ledge guard situation. Wow. That was a great catch from Apparition. Yes, That's a we... very hard uh, ledge option to punish, but... With uh, back air invisibility, definitely gonna help out. Especially throwing it out so late in the jump, meaning it hits low and gets that ledge. But uh, Nair Dash Attack will even up the game. Crowd is alive. We got a lot of Apparition fans. I know all of OU's rooting for Zance. Uh, Apparition, a very big Columbus player. So, and I know a lot of them came to this tournament. Apparition, though, now on the offensive, continuing the combo, 75%, back air! That's gonna kill. You were just talking about the short horizontal blast zones, that back air killing at 75%. Give Apparition game two. Let's go, players! The crowd is alive. <laughs> they are going crazy behind us here in Athens. Both players yeah. contemplating their bans right now. I think these are definitely two fan favorite players. Definitely. See Rob Gucci behind us. He's the one that's really <laughs> doing all the yelling out here. I think they're running it back to stadium if I saw that correctly. Oh, no. They cannot run back to stadium because of MDSR. That is right. That is in the rule set. Oh, yes. You cannot go back to a stage you want on. I'm we interested have... to see where Zach wants to go because we talked about like the bigger area and small 
horizontal blast zones. It looks like we're they going really to PS2. But... Oh, they're calling for a TO. <laughs> okay, they're coming in to save PSR. the day. Yeah. Great TO, Boom is. Yeah, shout out to Joey. What a guy. Yeah. He he helped put this whole thing together, so. Shout out to him. He told me about uh, Wings on Athens. That was great. I got like oh, yeah. lemon great. pepper wings from them. Oh my god. Great place, great place. Uh, they have ran it back to town and city. And they're still going the same character as Violet Politania. So we will see. It's still best of three, so this is yeah. everything on the line for these players. With how close game two was, I'm not surprised at the pick, however, I think it might have gone something different. Given you just died at 72 Apollo back air. There is the Ohio uh, summit spot on the line at this tournament, so there a is. lot to play for here. Try both to keep players, the winner's hopes alive. The players fighting for that spot at summit catches the teleport with the fair. Our back air dash attack going to quickly put the percent back in apparition's favor. Sans has been rolling from ledge a lot and. Catching apparitions trying to cover different options. We'll Not gonna get much off that bylift up B. We're at we're past sixty percent now, so it does spike. That kind of prevented Zance from getting a uh, follow up there. Great Some parry on the arrow. Tricky arrow movement for sure. Ooh, big down smash. Catches the teleport. Wasn't able to get right to ledge. I don't think Apparition went straight to ledge, so he had a brief time of invulnerability. Yeah. Zan's able to do it with that heavy hitting down smash. You know, Apparition hit a pretty big down smash game one, now Zan's returning the favor in game three. This is looking like Zan's is putting on the gas here. Air dodge is over the F smash attempt. See Apparition going for the Hail Marys now, already at 78% on the second stock. Zance still living. Next side B would kill though. I think that was Town and City saving that. The down tilt. Yeah. Very good move. Pilotana. Zance, Zance trying to get in with a down B, and that down tilt is just going to interrupt all of it. Oh, not going to punish off the mistech. It didn't quite get the read. Both players taking quite a bit of time in neutral try to dissect, but Apparition making a comeback from it. Yeah, only now a 30% deficit. Zane's going to catch a TP with a Nair. Catches landing with Nair, dash attack, not going to quite kill off the side. Zane's is doing a great job figuring out where Apparition wants to go with these up B spots. F tilt red line, but was not enough to kill. That one will though. And that was a nice fair. Separate the space. He, he baited the grab and gonna get the kill off of it. This is Apparition's winner's tournament life on the line. He's gotta find a way to get back in this. Try to get fair side B there. Not gonna quite connect with side B. Nair dragged down, lots of shield pressure. Going deep for this edge guard opportunity. This is when you gotta really put on the pedals if you're Apparition. You know, you're already down to last stock. Zane's still in second stock. Ooh, Not was... the greatest DI. But either way, we're at last stock situation before one of these guys go to losers. Ooh, that might be it. Yeah. yeah. Zance returning the favor with a back air killing at 80%, just like how he lost game two, is how he wins game three. So, Zance will continue into winners. Uh, I Winners do, quarters, do probably. Up? Yeah. Oh, we do. I don't have a mouse. You have a mouse. Okay. <laughs> do I? Okay. Yeah, okay. 
Awesome. Uh, check top 32. Yes, yeah, so operation will move on the winner's quarters. Well, he will be playing Mindset. Mindset, very good Rob player. 